Hey, what's up, everyone? This is going to be a regular two game. I'm sorry, I'm versus allies. Unit ready. And you see this map, um, this is a little bit of a navy, a little bit of a navy map, but a little bit of a land map. A little bit more land and navy, though. It's not like depth charge or anything crazy. I might like to, um, get, like, do a little bit of distance mining from this position and get the ore. And, and, um, from the top left, it's actually the top left, I think, is one of the best spots because, um, you could, just actually three starting positions, but the top left. Um, you could build off of the ore and actually be right on a big clump of ore. And if you're in the bottom left, it's e kind of easier to get those. So you could basically get those oils and build to the gems. But it's a little bit riskier when you're from my spot. Because of the fact that, um, your, your miners are going to be farther away from your war factory and your MCV. So you got to build your MCV. I mean, your miners, your war factory, or your MCV. Either one of the three is going to be away from the other thing, other two. So I mean, it, it's going to be like Unit runs into ready. a problem. Insufficient funds. So. Construction complete. So if you see, I'm going to get these. Ready. Building. I actually should have sent one more engineer. So I'm going to spam a lot of um, a lot of rhino tanks. Unit and a lot ready. and a regular too. A lot of people they like to blow up the um oil barrels next to the oil and then repair the oils but in your revenge you can't do that Cancel. you could you could um get rid of the oil barrels with current yes. regenerates exactly. and the reason why you want to do it is because um it makes the oil harder to kill for the enemy if the um, oil barrels you know shoot one hit and kills the oil barrels and then the, the oil is like halfway damaged so. see i'm gonna build up there Low and i gotta be a little bit careful i gotta get that air drop Select Maybe target. try to take out. See, he, he didn't blow up all his oil bills. He only did one. I don't know why. I could try to do an attack. When I, when he, I'm attacking his power drop in his Unit base, lost. I could also attack Unit ready. his um Building. tanks and everything. His main base. So he's, he's got actually a lot of. He actually has me out tanked. I actually, actually out loses. And that's the, the crazy thing about Rattler, too. Yeah, I'm trying making an attempt to get that. Crazy thing about Rattler, you can see the Grizz. The grizz are, are more intense in this game. Like, I could, I could really get, get hammered right now. And he actually had really bad tank control. And, I mean, like, he actually drove by. If he would have just, like, sat on top of my tanks, he would have won that. So I don't know what he's thinking. Um, I'm going to build. I know there's snipers. He's a great Briton, I guess. Yeah, actually, I win that because I got position advantage right there. All the tanks clumped down versus tanks that are gonna go in single fire or, or at most double fire. And single fire tanks is always a weakness. You gotta remember that. Because single fire tanks, it's just one by one by one. They gotta get hurt. And that's the most basic thing in the game. I mean, so I mean, I don't need to explain it too much unless you guys don't really understand. I don't know. So anyway, so he's blowing up his oil. I mean, the bridge near his oil and. And I actually have some old games to upload. This is actually, this game is actually not recently. So this is game, this game is from actually a while ago. But I never actually uploaded it. So he's like, he's got snipers. And notice he still, he still has a lot of tanks. If he adds a couple dogs, like four dogs, four or more dogs, you could say like four to ten dogs. Then he's pretty intense. So I'm gonna, if his tanks are in a bad formation, I'm just gonna manually attack him. Now notice I got two or three tanks before the fight even started. So this guy, he, he really could have put up a. Um, you could see like his the weakness in his allies, and I am taking advantage of it. If I was kind of not a, a dumb Soviet, I, I would have just like kind of done something stupid. But you see, you see like how I'm attacking, kind of right. So like now as I'm moving away, and I'm gonna use my range advantage when I'm firing away. But firing away is always weaker than firing towards somebody because you had to, when you're on um, the. The nozzle of your tank, it has to be facing toward them for it to be a little bit better. Because it um it has it has a turn and when it's turning it takes a minute it takes like a not not a minute but a few few seconds and that makes the difference in a big tank fight. For the for the um thing to turn. Um so I'm gonna pair drop that he didn't even pair it. Yeah, and um, I noticed like I was playing on CNC.net. Um, they updated everything. I thought they were gonna add quick match, and I don't think they did. They probably will in, in a couple months. Who knows? It depends how many donations they get. Um, 
I guess they run over donations. See, like you notice, he does have some dogs in there this time. And I, I want them to add zero hour and um generals to CNC that. I would donate if they would add zero hour. Seriously. But um. And I got like a what a eighty made a millisecond ping, which means it's not too bad. For Ella too. So anyway, um, so now he's making a bad lab, which is not not really the best idea because if he starts making Mirage, he actually has me out of tanks. He should be sending splits to, to my um other ore, and he should be sending some rocketeers. I I feel no air pressure, no reason to make no reason to make rocketeers. He might be going for navy, but even if he is, he still should be making some air. He had quite a few opportunities to um to really hurt me bad. Now I'm gonna go in. I don't really think I'm not really afraid of him right now. The engineer IFB, not a big deal. Because the random tanks are stronger in general than Grizzlies. So bam, 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 bam. And he actually is still putting up a little bit of a fight, even though that I thought I had it the better of it. So I think I'm winning this tank fight still. But he he actually did kind of kill all my tanks and stuff for five. I thought I would have blown up even it looked even worse than that for a second. But. And then notice he has a TT as tank solver. He hasn't um, brought all his tanks together. He should have moved him back and had all his tanks. Um, now I think he's making Mirage. I can't really tell yet. But I know later in the game he's going to. So the sniper IV is smart. I mean smart, but hard to use. It's like kind of high difficulty because like when you had to control your sniper. And you have to like uh, know when to suicide. Just, well, I don't. Uh, everybody doesn't do that, but I suicide my snipers. Like if it's like a all or nothing like tank fight, like you have to win this tank fight. I take my snipers and I go right in and start shooting the tanks with a sniper. I'm not even kidding you. And a lot of people won't, won't ever do that, but I do. Now these tanks are gonna die. They're trapped, but I want to lure him to the corner because to get him far away from his base and my second wave of tanks is probably gonna take him out. And I don't know when the navy's coming. But... Now I got, and I was going gonna waypoint toward the lab, but I think again the miners is better since because he has some defense over there, and the mine the one miner wasn't very well defended, and now I'm gonna pair drop. Bad lab. Building, building. Okay, now I just heard an aircraft carrier, but I didn't see it. I know it's coming. Now I was watching some crazy war videos online about like uh, the war in Iraq and it's messed up, man. People like shooting each other from helicopters and stuff. Um. So anyway, I'm gonna try to take out his tanks. He's not keeping his tanks together, so I could take out that small group of Mirage tanks. Now, boom, boom. It looks like he's pretty much dead now. He's gotta kill everything. So he had his opportunities, but he didn't execute. But um, actually, he's, the fact that he has his three, he does have a um, a long game advantage in a way because he's gonna have three oils. I'm gonna have three, but it's easy for him to get one oil, and he's gonna probably have three versus two oils in the late game. No, wait, he's gonna have four versus two oils because he's gonna kill the one oil near the water, probably, and then he's gonna be four versus two or four versus three. So I'm better early game because of my position, but late game it has nothing to do with the country. It has to do with just the map, which is what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna defend against this. And he, I, if he took out my MCV right now, and then he just had like a whole bunch of aircraft carriers, he could win the game. And I've had it happen to me. Cause notice he's on the island, and if he takes out my MCV in barracks, I can repair the bridge, and I'm basically dead. I gotta make a um, navy yard before it gets too hectic. But actually, I'm not too worried about it. I got plenty of air defense, but this happened hundreds and hundreds of times to me because I played this game a hundred thousand times. So like hundreds of times this happened to me where I won or lost a game because of Navy and stuff. And he's got dolphins, so. So I'm going to maybe make an Iron Curtain, maybe kill the dolphins with the Iron Curtain and not much you could do. All I got to do is really repair that bridge. And I'm out of range for the Yuri clone. And always remember that there's only there's no Yuri clone in Yuri's event, so this is for the two. That's one way to tell. And I don't even think it's that big of a deal because like Yuri gets like a better unit to get um, siege choppers in Yuri's revenge. So, but at the same time, Yuri doesn't have to deal with battle fortresses and 
in red alert too, so. Anyway. Unit ready. Building. Yeah, I think that red alert two, like early game, is definitely a faster pace than your easy range, and that's why there's like a higher skill cap for part of the game. Um, like a lot of players, they have difficulty in, in Red Alert 2, so it's, it's kind of is a hard game to tell you the truth. I mean, it's a fun game, it doesn't mean it's not fun, but I mean, hard game if you're playing versus one of the better players, like, it's, you know, it's gonna be a bigger gap, but if you're playing a game like League of Legends, it's all noobs. Like, you can, you can play with, like, somebody that's so bad, it's just ridiculous in League of Legends, but this, you gotta, you gotta actually have skill in a game like this. This isn't... This, like, I mean, this, noobs could have fun in this, but I mean, this is a game for pros, too. Good game. 